Hey everybody, welcome to a new video. Apologies for the lateness of this video. Um, this is my going to be my March and April uh, 2022 pickups video. The last two months have been rather kind of hectic, to say the least. Work has been just full of shenanigans. And um, yeah, I, I'm uh, also going on vacation. Going on vacation. I'm leaving tomorrow evening into Tuesday morning. I'm going to Chicago to visit Cindy for her birthday for two weeks. So I figured I can't better get this video done sooner rather than later. So, yeah, um, because I was going on vacation and because I bought something rather expensive, uh, I didn't want to go too crazy. You know, I wanted to you know, make sure I had money for vacation. So, but yeah, with that said, um, overall, I think these last two months were rather good. Especially when you see what I bought, like the big thing, the main thing. So, but yeah, let's uh, jump right into it, shall we? Now, the main thing I got. I'm so glad I finally got this, because the last time I tried, I just could not get it. But, um, yeah, this time I was successful. I'm very happy about that. In March, I finally secured a PS5. I finally got one, and I could not be happier. Uh, I was the this pro this time the process was very simple. Uh, if you guys are having issues getting a PS5, I highly recommend following uh, Jake Randall on Twitter. He has uh, he'll let you know when a drop's going to happen via Walmart, Amazon, wherever. So yeah, I finally got one, and I'm very happy about it. Very enjoying it, I've been enjoying it. I've been enjoying it a lot. So. Uh, I also picked up the PlayStation DualSense charging station. It becomes, it's pretty much been a tradition now at this point where uh, whenever there's a new Sony console, the charging cord is like that, sm it's like that long. So instead of getting a super long charge cord, which my dog, my daddy could trip over, I decided to just pick this up and I, I just put it on put it by my on my table near me and that way my controller needs to charge so I just plop it on there and go you know, don't worry about any wires so I'll have to pick that up next um, I also picked up a new headset um, I was at GameStop uh, trading in my PS4 Slim and a few games that I was that I'm planning on upgrading to PS5 and uh, I needed a new headset, so uh, I was looking, I was debating, do I go cheap, do I go cheap route, do I go expensive, do I go middle, what, you know, what, you know, what should I do? And the uh, GameStop employee highly recommended this brand to me, which is the Astro A10, and uh, so far, pretty damn good. So, what to have and I need, I need a new headset for a while, so. <clears throat> now, I don't have a lot of PS5 games, just a handful. Here's what I did get between March and April. First, I picked up uh, Tormented Souls. This is a old-school classic survival horror game, like the old-school Resident Evil games. So, uh, looking forward to playing this, which I'm not yet, but uh, I heard it's pretty damn good. So, it was cheap, too, so I'm not super cheap, but, you know, it was, you know, cheap enough. Next, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. This is one of the games that I, uh, wanted to upgrade to PS5, just because I enjoyed this, I enjoyed this game so much when I first got it, so, uh, yeah, when I wanted to check out the upgrades, I guess you'd say, on the PS5, or of the PS5 version. So, yeah, this was 20 bucks, brand new at Walmart, so, picked that up. Next, I picked up uh, Returnal. Uh, uh, Returnal is pretty, I'm, like, I'm enjoying it so far. Uh, it's, not, it's not my usual type of game, but I'm enjoying it. It reminds me of, uh, it's very much like a, like a, it feels like you're on uh, an ever-changing version of uh, LV-426. At least to me it feels like that. Like, doesn't that just, just this, just this, this cover just screams like alien to me so uh, 
so far. I'm enjoying it. Next, picked up Elden Ring. Uh, Elden Ring is your new, is the next uh, Souls game from uh, from software. I'm enjoying it. Um, I like the fact that you can go anywhere, do anything that way. If you come across like an area that's like really, really shouldn't be in because you're very low level, you can go somewhere else. So, uh, yeah. Um, once I get back from vacation, hopefully uh, my friend, my friends Brett and Kevin and I can get back and uh, they can help me, uh, you know, you know, beat this. So, but yeah. So far, I'm drawing it. Next, picked up Death Loop. Um, I just started playing this a little bit uh, this this uh, this week, uh, and it's it's good. Uh, it kind of reminds me of a uh, mix of Prey and Dishonored, so uh, which makes sense because it's from uh, Arcane Studios, so that would make sense. But yeah, so far, it's pretty decent. And then finally, the last PS5 game here I got. I bought this on a whim, but uh, it seemed very interesting. So uh, I picked up uh, Apsu, Apsu Love, uh, End of Gods. No idea. It just looked very interesting. So I picked it up on that, that basis alone. So, but yeah. So those are the PS5 games I got. So overall, pretty decent haul. But we're not done yet. The other two, the other few games I got this month. Um, this is a get back. Um, this was um, I had this game. I had this game before, and uh, I. I was just browsing eBay and came across it, and I think the seller was asking, what were they asking? I think they're asking like thirty, thirty dollars ish plus shipping, and I sent them a best offer of like eighteen plus whatever the ship plus whatever the ship whatever the shipping was, and they accepted. So uh, I picked up Soldier of Fortune on Dreamcast. Uh, like I said, this is a get back. Uh, my original Dreamcast died. Not my original one, because I didn't have one when it came out, but when I bought one, you know, it eventually died. And so, I had tried, got rid of it, because I don't know how to fix anything. And I, you don't, I didn't, whatever. But, uh, yeah, I basically get back. So, uh, great game. I enjoyed it, and I'm glad to have it back in my collection. Next, uh, for PS4, I picked up... Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Uh, this is actually the deluxe edition. Uh, it's a big box is in the living room. Uh, so this came with the uh, season pass. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so far, I'm enjoying it. It's pretty damn good. So, and you can tell that they made, they spent a lot of time upgrading and changing things and whatnot. So, uh, yeah. Glad to have it. Then finally, the last uh, game here I got, well, not the last game, but the last disc-based game, uh, I picked up A Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Definitive Edition. Um, I don't know why, but whenever I try to get my mom to go, you know, get this, it was always not super expensive, but it was more than what I was wanting to pay for it. But finally, I found a copy of it on Macari for a decent deal. I think it was like 20 bucks. And this other one, 20 bucks, I think I offered them like 15 and they accepted, if I recall correctly. But yeah. Uh, some people say this is the uh, weaker, or is it the weakest game in this trilogy, but um, if, it's anything, if it's anything like the last two, I'm going to enjoy it. So. Now on to. Uh, I'll say that for last. Uh, now on to movies. <clears throat> First, picked up the Matrix Resurrections on 4K. Um, I have not watched this just yet. I've heard uh, mixed things on it, but I'm a casual fan of the of the other movies, so I wanted to uh, watch those first before I watch this. Uh, to my understanding, it's kind of, kind of, kind of a reboot, kind of. 
So it's a sort of a reboot slash sort of sequel. So I don't really know exactly what to expect, but uh, if I watch it, I'm entertained by it. That's all that matters to me. So yeah. <clears throat> These next three are upgrades. Um, I love this trilogy, so I wanted to upgrade them, upgrade it from Blu-ray to 4K, and that is, of course, the John Wick trilogy. So we have John Wick, John Wick Chapter 2, and John Wick Chapter 3. Looking forward to uh, Chapter 4, which should be coming out next year, I believe. It got delayed. It was supposed to come out this year, and it got delayed to next year, I believe. So, uh, yeah, hopefully uh, that'll be good. Next, I picked up uh, Atomic Blonde. Uh, my dad wanted to see this movie, and I wanted to see it, and I wanted to see it too. Um, I think it's based on a graphic novel. To be wrong, I'm not sure. But I know it's basically a female John Wick, basically. It's even directed by the guy who did the first movie, the first John Wick movie. So that should tell you something. But yeah, and it was, like I said, it was cheap, so I'm sure why the hell not. Next, I picked up uh, The Kingsman. Uh, this is the origin, origin story of that uh, Secret Service. And uh, yeah, it, I enjoy those movies, so I wanted to grab this as well. So I've not watched it just yet, but I've heard both good and bad. But again, until I actually watch it, I can't say much on it. Next, and uh, the last 4K movie I got these last two months, uh, I picked up 1917, another movie that my dad wanted to see, and uh, it was cheap, so I went ahead and grabbed it. So, And then, uh, of course, I picked this up. Uh, I didn't pick it up right away when it came out. I had to wait until I, I got paid to pick it up. And that, of course, is... A Spider-Man No Way Home. Um, I got it on Blu-ray because um, all, my other, all my other MCU stuff slash Marvel stuff is all regular Blu-ray. So when it comes to what movies I get on 4K, whether it's upgrading or flat out buying, if I already have most of that stuff like on regular Blu-ray, I'm not going to buy it on 4K. Just because I'd feel weird. My OCD would be... That'd just no, that'd bother the fuck out of me. But yeah, um, <laughs> No Way Home. Uh, saw it opening night, amazing movie, loved it, loved uh, seeing all the, seeing the, uh, seeing uh, Alfred Molina Stock, Alfred Molina Stock Ock, seeing uh, Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin, all those, you know, characters that we grew up with loving, uh, come back and make kind of like a, like a their grand, like final appearance sort of, sort of thing, uh, so yeah, it was great, loved the movie. And that's it for movies. I got one last thing to show you. Well, technically, three things left to show you guys. This purchase, I'm blaming on my friend Dale. I'm blaming my friend Dale on, yes, Dale, I'm blaming this on you. Still, I don't care. We were talking a couple weeks ago, and a particular console came up. And we were talking, like I said, as we were talking, I just started feeling nostalgia for this console. So I decided to browse eBay, just, just check, you know, whatever. Saying maybe, you know, put that out in the back of my head, maybe, you know, maybe I'll, you know, see if I can get one, uh, you know, after vacation, you know, whatever. Well, I found the seller selling a bundle that had the system, the controller, all the cords, and a game. And I think he was asking, like, what was he asking? I think he was asking like 109 plus shipping, which considering considering what this well, it's not a rare system, but considering what just what some people are asking for just to itself, that wasn't that bad. So uh, I think that's so why I sent them a message for the best offer of 75, and lo and behold, they accepted. So I was like, was great. I was like, I didn't really need to buy this right now, but fuck it. So. Uh, what did I buy? Well, I bought uh, 
Nintendo 64. Um, now, I did have a Nintendo 64 before. It was my original one that I had when I was a kid. I know because my dad still had it. Uh, but uh, when I moved back with them after my mom passed, and I was really just feeling nostalgic for it. Mainly because, of course, you know, my mom had bought me that, <coughs> that system. So, of course, I was, you know, kind of attached to it. But for a while, I just kind of fell out of it. So, uh, I sold it. And, you know, sold the games. But now, as we were talking, like I said, I was going to name Nostalgic for it again. So, I bought me another, another, another and I bought myself another Nintendo 64. So, um, but yeah, this came with, this one came with, actually came with the uh, expansion pack, which is great, because my original one didn't have that. And I know, I know I needed to buy it eventually, but now, with this, I don't worry about it, because it's already in there. Which is good, because the game it came with needs it, so, that's good. I'm not going to show you the controller, the cord, you can see that, you know what a Nintendo 64 controller looks like. But, um, the game it came with, though, uh, was Perfect Dark. And uh, this cartridge is just in really good condition, like that label is like perfect. Uh, and just, yeah, it, it, it's very pristine, so... Glad to have gotten that for sure. Now the last thing I bought, which after I bought after I bought this, I went on Amazon and got a few things that I needed, that I needed for it. I had ordered or I ordered uh, No Way Home, I ordered a memory card, I ordered a uh, in my room I have a uh, a uh, a four uh, Composite, I have a composite switch box in my room for those old consoles in my room. That's only it's only got four switches or switch box switch thingies. So I needed another one. So I got a uh, eight way uh, switch box. So I also ordered this, um, which is going to be my main controller for the for the sixty four. I think that's the that other controller. Nothing against the original controller, nothing against it. But I've just come so used to modern controllers that when I would go back and play the N64, when I had my original, my original console, it just, there was something about it that I just could not like wrap my head around. So I went and picked up the Brawler 64 wireless uh, gamepad. So this is basically a Nintendo 64 controller, just modernized, which is what I needed. So, yeah. So, uh, that is it. Uh, that is all my pickups for the months of March and April 2022. I got a new next gen system. I got a retro system. I got some decent moves, some new movies, some good games. Overall, pretty good two months, last two months, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, with that said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the future with more content. So, peace.